welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to make a headless render if you watch my previous tutorials you already know what to do but you know, i'm just going to make this quick and simple so first things first you need a computer if you don't have a computer why are you on this video second you need cinema 4d if you don't have cinema 4d go to my discord server and you'll find it it's in the channel right here along with the link to the file and a tutorial on how to install it i set it up and for rigs and lightrooms it's also in the Discord server. You'll see it right here, along with a video on how to add a rig into Cinema 4D. So, yeah. Anyways, open up Roblox Studio. Plug in character plug. It will be in the description, so don't worry. Type in your username. Mine is Sinos with a nine. Click R6. Click on your character. Scroll down. You see position. Click on it. I put zero comma three comma zero hit enter now to make it an obj file you're going to want to right click click export selection go to documents and then create a new folder i'm going to name it obj there you go open the obj folder and just give it a name i'm just going to put Sinos. there you go now go into your folder open up your lightroom so this is my lightroom right here Wait for Cinema 4D to load up. Let me get rid of these textures real quick. Now to import your OBJ file, click File, click Merge. Go to Documents, open up the OBJ folder, but not. Make sure your settings look like this. All right, press OK. Now to import your texture on your avatar, see where it shows Handle 1, double click on that. Click the three dots right here. Click on your texture. You might have more than one, depends if you have any accessories, multiple hairs, etc. So there you go. Double click on that. Click no. Make sure to toggle off transparency. Now, if you want to make your render a little bit crispy, it looks a little bit too blurry. Click editor on the right hand side. Click on default and set it to no scaling. There you go. Now Let's remove these body parts so we can import our rig real quick. So just click on it, left click, backspace, 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 backspace. Now to import your rig, click on content browser, double click on presets, look for your rig. I'm using a project rig, so double click on that. Delete the hair, click on objects, click on the rig, and set the rotation to 90 degrees. Yours might be different, depends which rig you use, so it might not be like that. So anyways, to add a texture to your rig, double click on character, click on the three dots, same thing we did before, click no, boom. Now to make it an official headless rig, or to make it an official headless avatar, I should say, you gotta, you have to click on your head. Do not click on the blue, on the blue thingy. Click on your head and hit backspace. There you go. We have an official headless avatar. Now, if we try moving it around, it's not gonna work. And why is that? Is because we didn't attach it to the rig. So to do that, click on the plus sign, hold control, click on handle one and two, click on the plus sign, click on the plus sign again, click on the plus sign for attachments, and then drag your hair or any hat accessory to head attachments. Make sure the arrow is facing down and let go. If you have like a sword or anything like that, or like a necklace, drag it to torso. So let's get to it. So now we're just gonna wanna give it a little pose. I'm just gonna click on the leg right here. Move that to the side a bit. The arms, I'm gonna position it. I'm gonna do something simple. Rotate the head. To zoom in and out, this is to like zoom in and out the second one. To free roam, or like to move around, it's the first one. To rotate, it's the third one. You just move your mouse side to side to zoom in. You move your mouse forward and backwards. To free roam, just move your mouse around. There you go. And let go. That's it. You'll get the hang of it. Anyways, to rotate the head, let's do that. Rotate it to the side a bit. To preview your render, press Control plus R. Give it some time. This laptop is dog shit, so bear with me. All right, okay, it looks all right. It's just a little bit too bright. If your 
renders a little bit too bright. If you want to dim the bright, uh, dim the brightness, click on lighting, hold control. Depending on how many light rooms you got, you might have one or multiple. You see intensity? Bring it down a bit. Uh, so I feel like 89% should be all right. Yeah, it should be all right. Now let me just bend the limbs. If you're using the Charlie rig or something or the sub rig, you might want to use the arrow and like bring it up so you can bend the limbs. Same thing with the legs. You got to move it up. In this case, I'm going to do the left leg. There you go. Now to render it, you see the action icon right here. The third one, click on that, click save. Make sure your settings look like this. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Click on the three dots right here. Click on documents, make a new folder, call it renders. Hit enter, open it up, give it a random name. I'm just gonna call it Sinos. Now to render it, you click the second button. Boom, that's gonna render, it's gonna take some time. So bear with me, this laptop is dog shit. So I'll be back when it's done rendering. And there you go, that's how you make a render Cinema 4D. Now, if you want to make your render bigger, like if you want to make it appear like this on Discord, you open up paint on net, click on the file icon, look for your render, click on the magic wand, see um, where flood mode is, where the light bulb is, click on that, switch it to global, hold control, and click on your avatar, and turn up the tolerance, make sure that's highlighting your whole body. You know, if it's not selecting your whole body, just hold control and then just select on any body part. There you go, see? Click on crop to selection and boom. Now, click save, click okay. Now when I send it on Discord now, go to file, when I send it on Discord. Give me a second, there you go. So yeah, that's how you make a render Cinema 4D. I'm out.